And here we are at Fort Churchill State Park. And Fort back. Churchill was put together in 1860 after a couple of Indian attacks. And we're over here today to take a look around, see what's here. It looks I would like we do have my some intro, cannons and stuff but I over just there. woke up. And Anaya didn't do her intro because she just woke up. And uh, yeah, it's basically out in the middle of nowhere out here. No, it's along the Carson River. Uh, along the Carson River, but still. <laughs> Any source of water for y yeah. 60 miles. That's it. Uh, so if you're going across a so, coach, you're going to follow the Carson River. Anyway, so we'll take a look at some of the stuff that's here. And uh, that's about it for now. Sure. Yeah. Consider useless for desert warfare because of their large size and unwieldiness. Here we are. Huh. Just weeks after their arrival, the cans were distributed to volunteer military units along the Comstock. Hmm. Well, I guess they needed cannons. 1883, the Army declared one of the cannons unserviceable and disposed of it. The other two embarked on a series of moves between Carson City and Reno. There we go. They Good came, shot of the cannon. One. Back here in 1977. And there's another cannon right over there. There's the two cannons. And there's not a whole much, much, bunch of stuff left over from the fort. We're going to take a look, see what's here. But, yeah. we got to keep off and make sure you keep off the cannon. Well, they do have they have gates around well, here. You need to go. Well, if you need homesteaded in 1859, a stop for overland stages and immigrants. I don't know if you guys can read that or not, but this was a Pony Express station. <gasps> See, I don't know how good it's going to come out on video, but. They put the sign in, what, back in 1960? Dwight D. Eisenhower was chairman. <laughs> chairman? At the time. Yeah. At the time. Hmm. Okay, so there you are. What's up, everybody? Oh, jeez. So this is the Pony Express stop where they used to have to, where they, <coughs> they took the mail from Missouri to California. Let's go ahead and zoom in on and it. Every rider went, I think, 20 miles or 26 miles. That's a Pony miles. Express rider there on top. Buckland's Ranch Station Homestead. Yeah, I got right there. 1859. What's up, everybody? I know I'm not loud because I just woke up. You've been fall. You fell asleep in the back of the car. Yeah. What's yeah. up, everybody? So today, as you can see, we're at an Indian War. Place. Fort Churchill. And now let's yeah. see. Let's see. If we go back around here. What's this? Oh. This is another a centennial. Is that Abraham Lincoln? I don't think so. No. Don't forget to let smash that like button. But you're blocking it so nobody can see it. Smash that like button. Okay. Subscribe. Press the bell notification. Don't worry about bell. subscribing. They will if they want to. No subscribe. Is another better sign? Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's Pony better. Express. That's better. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. better sign. 120 riders. 120 rode riders. 2,000 miles. With only one rider was killed by Indians. <coughs> only one. And only one male was lost. They went all the way from. Pretty the good state record. Of Missouri, all the way to California. To Maryville, this place. Colorado, Maryville. Wyoming, Salt Lake City, Utah, Friday Station. That place you could get salt. Russell, Majors, and Waddle. That place you could get salt. Those are founders, the owners, and operators. That's who those guys were. The founders, owners, and operators. Russell, Majors, and Waddle. So, Can I hold the camera? No. I keep Why? telling you, no. But I know you'd just be bouncing it all over the place. So when was hold it still. put here? Uh, what year was that? 1960. <clears throat> How many years ago was that? That was... It's 2000, 2020 now. That was 40 years ago. No. No. That was 3,000 years ago. 3,000? What are you doing? <laughs> You're not even close. That was 100 years ago. No. More than 100 years okay. ago. From 100 19... and 
40 it's years 2020. ago. It's 2020. 120 years ago. This was ago. put in 1960. 140 years ago. 1960 to 2000. How many years is that? 240. 1960 to 2000. How many years? 40. And from 2000 to 2020. 100. How many years? 100. 2000 to 2020. 20. Oh. 2000? 2000, 2020 years. <laughs> 2020, 2020 years. 2020, how many years? I don't think so. From year 2000 to 2020. This will take a while. What is that? Let me look at this other sign over here. What is this sign? We got sign. We got these little plaques. We got these plaques everywhere. Fort Churchill Historic Monument. 60 years ago. This plaque commemorates the efforts of the Nevada Sage, oh, Sagebrush Chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution. Preserve the integrity of Nevada's first and largest military outpost. 200 acres of the original military reservation granted to the state of Nevada by the federal government on October 6, 1932. <clears throat> Nevada, in turn, deeded the land and buildings on April 30, 1934, to Nevada Sagebrush Chapter, <clears throat> DAR, Daughters of the American Revolution, to hold in trust for the state and as custodian for per perpetuation and preservation thereof by deed pursuant to trust dated February 16, 1961, titled Fort Churchill was reconveyed to the state of Nevada that it might be official proclamation be designated a state historic monument. The plaque was dedicated October 22, 1967. And there you have it. Come on, we could film inside. We have another one. You're what? Can't we film inside? What are you going to go inside for? What's inside? Like um, a, a museum. Oh, the museum. Well, we will go in the museum next then. Yeah. The museum. As it is. I don't even need any light in here, actually. It still works out pretty well. <laughs> Here we are, this is before the fort was here. And we're going to go over here first. Here we are. I if you guys read that for a second. I can't read the whole thing. Anyway. But if you want to carry ammunition, I guess this would be the way to do it. Your artillery wagon. That's in here. Okay. There we are. What, you're going to sign the guest book? You were here? That's so rude. for $750. So How much? How much? Here's some stores for you. Up here, get the overall map picture. This is basically in the middle of nowhere. A long way up. It fell into disrepair over the years and then got rebuilt. What's the city that I live in? What is this guy? We got any kind of kind of pictures and plaques and stuff everywhere around here. So you guys can see that. I get, so you don't get glare. I'm filling out this 
You're filling out the visitor sheet. Okay. They had two armored soldiers Eighteen sixty one was a bad time. Civil War. Indian War. You name it. The building was estimated at $179,000 back in 1860. Yeah. How about that? They sold it for 750 bucks. Yeah, That's go figure. Wait, Jesus, mud? Yep, mud bricks. And the uh, whole thing was made out of Look, there's a post office. Adobe bricks. Oh. Yes. Put it on in and put it off the sun to dry. Then, of course, we have the Pyramid Lake War. For the reason this whole thing started, because they never did say that uh, one of the uh, brothers went ahead and kidnapped Paiute squaws and used them as slaves, and the Indians just came to go ahead and take them back. That's what started the entire war. The whole thing was over that. And of course, he never said that. You found that out later. This was a vital artery at that time. It's just no one else was back there. Take you in this room, but they've got it locked. So this is. In 1858. There's the guard room and old. some other stuff in there. She was only 18 years old. She was twice Captain Seward's traveling chest. And so there's a chest and, but she died and a steamer trunk down died. below. She died in 1870. Artillery. Well, she was only 38 and then, of course, is the Seven. desk in the corner. Seven. And there we are. There's some stuff. There you are. 